welcome to Faith and Bible ASMR. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be going through the Bible study for Genesis 4 today from the First 5 app. If you have joined that app and you would like to join the group that I started there, it's called Faith and Bible ASMR. And I just created it because I just really wanted a space where you could leave comments or share prayer requests and know that it's in a Christian community if it's a more personal thing. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed and to those of you who left me comments last week and told me if you liked soft-spoken or whispering better and the consensus I got was that people like both so today I will be doing soft-spoken if you are a part of this channel thank you if you haven't subscribed I would love to have you subscribe we have a wonderful community here and I appreciate you to those of you who leave me comments it is a blessing to my heart I pray that God will use this channel and that it will glorify him so when you tell me things about how he's working in your life or how this channel has helped you I know that it, he is working I, I do know that he is working but it just could it for me and it encourages my heart so thank you let's dive into our Bible this particular study is done by Leah de Pascal and the key verse that she gives here is from Genesis 4 verses 4 B which means the second half and verse 5 and it says, the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Cain and Abel were brothers. They were sons of Adam and Eve. Growing up in a small family, I'd imagine they were best buddies, playmates, soul siblings, but all that changed one day. Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. At harvest time they were required to bring an offering unto the Lord. Cain brought a gift of farm produce. Abel brought the firstborn lamb of his flock, along with fat portions that produced a savory sweet aroma unto the Lord. With a holy nod of acceptance, Abel's offering was received, but Cain's offering was not. Instead of dropping to his knees in humility and repentance, Cain's face fell from the weight of rejection while a fiery rage burned within his belly. Why didn't God accept Cain's offering? Scripture doesn't tell us in Genesis 4, but it does give us some clues. Cain gave a portion to God, but not the best of what he had. His gift was offered out of a sense of obligation instead of reverence to the Lord. Cain's attitude was not one of remorse or repentance. Pride clouded his judgment and anger ruled his heart. Instead of admitting he made a mistake, he completely denied it. Although Cain behaved badly, God, in his great mercy, tried to warn Cain of what would happen if he didn't control the sin that raged within him. And that is in verse 7, and it says, If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you not, do not do well, sin is crouching at the 
door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Cain didn't even respond to God. Instead, he allowed anger and envy to simmer, which quickly boiled over resulting in the vicious murder of his brother Abel. Cain would have to deal with the consequences for the rest of his life. And we see that in verses 12 to 14, where it says, When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground, and from your face I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Have you been offering your best to God, or is he getting your obligated leftovers? Are you giving from a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving? Our gratitude when giving to the Lord matters greatly to him, maybe even more than the gift itself. Just like Abel gave the best firstborn lamb as his offering, God gave his firstborn son, Jesus Christ, as the ultimate sacrificial lamb to redeem and save us. Are you offering your best to God today? Are you giving reluctantly or with a cheerful heart filled with thanksgiving and gratitude? And she gives a few verses here. Hebrews 11.4 is the first one and it says, By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain through which he was commended as righteous, God comm commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. Second Corinthians 9 verse 7 says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And Psalm 118.29 says, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. So her question for us today is, what would you do if someone suggested you were wrong in a situation? Would you try to correct the problem or deny it like Cain did? And then she gives a prayer as well. Lord, give me a humble heart that is filled with gratitude and thanksgiving. Remove any pride that is keeping me from offering you my very best in every area of my life. My time, my abilities, my finances, and my relationships. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to add that um, something that always stuck out to me about that chapter was also Cain's lack of obedience, and I, I believe that's part of why God punished him. Because he didn't obey, he did things his way. And really, God wants our obedience. He wants us to surrender our will and to do his. And it's a learning process through our entire lives, letting go of our own will. But when he will help us with, when we ask him to, because that's, that's what he wants us to do. If you have gotten something out of this study, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful day, my friend.